listeners and subscribers thanks for tuning in so i got an interesting article for you uh probably gonna make some waves in the uh, alternative news community if it hasn't already uh again this is just more fuel on the civil unrest scenario i've been outlining in other channels as well in this instance we're talking about police officers say they were asked to leave tempe starbucks because customer felt unsafe all right, so a group of police officers were asked to leave a Starbucks shop by a barista because another customer did not feel safe, according to the Tempe Officers Association. Much to their dismay, the Tempe Officers Association tweeted about the Independence Day experience. Don't appreciate at Starbucks asking for our hashtag Tempe cops to leave your establishment on the hashtag 4th of July 2019. Several of those cops were hashtag veterans who fought for this country, hashtag zero respect. Friday afternoon, TOA gave a full breakdown of what six officers said happened at the Starbucks near Scottsdale and McKellips Roads. You can read about it here. Yesterday, on Independence Day, six Tempe police officers stopped by the Starbucks at Scottsdale Road in McKellips for coffee. The officers paid for their drinks and stood together having a cup of coffee before their long 4th of July shift. They were approached by a barista who knew one of the officers by name because he's a regular at the location. The barista said that a customer did not feel safe because of the police presence. The barista asked the officers to move out of the customer's line of sight or to leave. Disappointed, the officers did in fact leave. This treatment of public safety workers could not be more disheartening. While the barista was polite, making such a request at all was offensive. Unfortunately, such treatment has become all too common in 2019. We know this is not a national policy at Starbucks Corporate, and we look forward to working collaboratively with them on this important dialogue. A spokesman with Starbucks, Reggie Borges, gave the following statement about the incident over the phone. We have reached out to the Tempe Police Department to try and better understand what took place and apologize for any misunderstandings or inappropriate behavior that may have taken place. We work with them on a lot of events like coffee with a cop in our stores and we have great relationship with them. So we are surprised that something like this um, may have taken place. I just want them to understand how much we, how much we value them and uh, what they bring to the community. It is too early to say what type of ramifications employees will face, if any, but we want them to know that everyone who walks in the store should feel welcome and embraced and have the best Starbucks experience. And when that doesn't happen, this, that is not indicative of the kind of welcoming environment that we want to provide. I mean, a pretty fair generic statement there, uh, but come on, this is absolutely uh, fuel on that fire. Again, law enforcement versus citizens, straight versus gays, left versus right black versus white and this isn't the only thing happening i mean here we've got this stuff happening domestically with the uh basically the civil war scenario but take a look at this new questions about secret russian submarine mission before uh, fatal fire so they're talking about and here how uh russia was going to the cables that are underneath the sea because they say you know everybody thinks that the internet is in the cloud but really it's under the sea and that these russians might have been trying to get into these cables to hack them and usurp uh, voting data and get individual data from you know everybody collectively and blah 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 and this comes right after the supposed show of force that russia sent a warning to the u.s um with armed warship in cuba okay and this is from fox news and we have this unfolding with russia uh, tensions are escalating there i mean we already know what's happening with iran iran threatens to retaliate after the uk seized one of their oil tankers and then the supposed uh, oil tanker explosion what two three weeks ago and the drone shoot down right supposedly uh, and that's not to mention what happened, what's happening with China. I mean, the trade war there, it's just, it's just, it's, just, it's not looking good. If you understand really the, the, the basics of it is, you know, we want American companies to come back to the United States, but we're not doing anything to make that more fiscally feasible for them. And we want China to buy more U.S. products, essentially, but uh, the price of those are just keep going up as a result of what's happening here. So is really there doesn't look like there's a win in sight when it comes to this and this could spill over to other economies we talked about iran if the whole strait of hormuz thing if that conflict is uh, happens out there then the persian gulf producers aren't gonna be able to get their oil out that'll spill into economies um you know the whole russian thing and then uh, we've got you know north korea where which things are looking like they'll be 
okay with North Korea and it just seems like a repackaged deal when oh, we were at odds with North Korea then we had a summit things were good uh, Trump said some nice things about them they returned uh, uh, remains of our soldiers and released a somebody who was held captive over there now that's what we're seeing again uh, we we're at odds with North Korea Trump went over there shook hands and crossed the border and now North Korea releases uh, some more folks so <laughs> it's just like we're seeing more of the same at any given time this this that tinder box could just be set aflame so you gotta wonder anyway I think I'll just I'll leave it there just a quick hit uh, so much escalation so much going on we're talking geo we're talking about domestically geopolitically uh, that's pretty insane and people just they don't recognize it because uh, well they're just be bobbing around anyway California Carter signing off <laughs>